what's up my people we're gonna be doing a review on this agora rig which is a lovely rig they have great rigs on their website so i'll put a link in the description if people aren't aware i think everyone's aware of these rigs they're really nice they got a new quadruped rig just out recently so let's just do a quick review of this because i was thinking of doing a quick breakdown animation with this uh, character just to show all done in step just to show the process trying to get everything all the posing stepped first before we get into spline just 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 to show you like my process how i do it first things first you've got your basic overall control at the bottom here which has your global scale so you can scale it up and down however you want and then also you've got your rotating order so you can have all the axes however you want x y whatever position you want it in uh that sometimes in games it depends you know sometimes the y is up the z is up you know depends on the setting so sometimes you may want to do that and now if we look at the rig it's got its general ik it's got its ik controls here with all its role you know you've got your your standard as you do here your tip tiptoes and heel so all the standard stuff that you would you would uh, see the a decent a very good rig right bank what's the bank oh sideways yeah and then you've got your separate toe control here as well so if we select this you know your foot controls and then the normal as as a uh, most rigs you know you've got your center of gravity your separate hip control in the middle there when you're doing walks and runs and then you know your midsection which is more this is ik yeah so you can move it You've got your standard ik there rotation and then that's a bit of rotation there too but you can also have ik right a bit of both that's good so you've got that and then the, uh, going up to the top you've got your neck controls uh again it has all the axes there that you can control I think this is more ik yeah ik neck control there then the face control is nice you've got this control here which i like so you can just select it and it selects the whole head which is pretty cool and up here you have your controls for his hair which is pretty cool you can animate that and then offset it eyes control here yeah the only thing is there's no pupils so you can't really you know you can't really see the pupils like that. I'm not sure why. I mean, I guess it's like the movement, isn't it? So a little bit of pupils in there would have been cool, isn't it? But that's but it still looks cool. Looks really cool. And then you've got your shoulder controls here. IK. IK. And then you've got you can rotate them as well. And then obviously it's set up as IK, so you can move it around and you've got your pole vectors at the back here. Oh, and also the legs, I forgot about that. You've got your pole vectors there. Fingers, finger controls. These are really cool because they're easy to se select. So, you know, they're not like right in there. They're just right out in open space so you can select them. So you've got each individual ones. And then sometimes, you know, you might want to select them multiply. So that's really easy to do. So I like that. That's cool. And then you can move it up and down just to quickly pose. Nice. And then what I, what I wanted to show you. So that's just the basic controls of the rig. Uh, as it comes in so standard what you would expect and then you've got these controls for the extra controls for the legs now where this rig kind of goes up another level is you've got you've got this control panel at the back here oh sorry you've got the separate control here as well sorry you've got let me just uh so you've got this overall control but then you've got another one inside so you may want to spin this in one die axis and this in another so you know it's independent so it's good like that, you know, there's two, there's two controls there. But this, so if you look at this here, overall, it's basically the shape, and it's so clear, isn't it? It's a shape of the body. So if you go to head, and we look at the head. Actually, let's work from, uh, yeah, let's do the, let's work from the head down, yeah. So you've got the head, and then you've got all the controls here. So everything is here, so you can have head follow, so if you switch if you switch that off and we rotate see the head is kind of just 
independent, right? And so if we go back and select the head and we go here, sorry, put it to zero, you know, it's independent of the head. So you've got all these controls here. Uh, neck stretch, uh, stiff control, twist control, face rig. So you've got all these controls. So let's switch this on. What's this do, man? What about this one? Can't see no difference there, can you? Wait, maybe I have to switch this on. So that's the face control. I can't see that there. Okay, I'll have to check that out. I'm not sure what that is. But again, you've got face control on. So if we go here, face rig visible. And then you've got this whole rig here, which is crazy, man. You've got this, what's this volume? Not sure what this is. There's a little control here. Oh, I know what it is. It's for the, yeah, look at that. That's brilliant. So when it's like running and then landing, you can just basically select all these and go animate. So you can go up and then offset them and kind of add. It's just all good for adding volume. So you can add a bit of volume to your model. And then you've got the eye, eyebrows here, up and down, you can move them together. And then you've got individual controls here. Right, and then you've got the side control here as well. So you've got a lot of control on this rig. And then here, if we come closer, D squared, this is the overall eye, you can move. Again, to add a bit of volume, and you've got all the little details here that you can add. All of these square controls here. And obviously the top one here, this is for the blink. And then you've got a bottom one. So it's very well designed. And obviously these are the side. So you've got these inside ones. So you've got, even though it's minimalist controls, it's very, very neat the way it's done. And then you've got the inside clusters here, just to add a bit more volume and believability for those little details you want in your scenes. And then these are obviously for the lower skin area. So it's all like joint and the same on the other side. And then you have the eye control here. This moves you overall, which is really good. Look at that. That's brilliant. So that's the overall eye area. Then we move down to the mouth. And again, you've got the jaw here. So that is all of the jaw. And then inside the jaw, you have these teeth that look like teeth controls, right? Which you can rotate and move. Same at the top as well. So you can play around with that. And then you've got this control at the front here. You've got a kind of why well, it hasn't got a nose, but you know, it's one of those. That's cool. So you've got this top one, top control. And then you've got these side ones here. And then they just control the hips, uh, lips, sorry, hips. <laughs> and then you've got the actual side ones. So you can do all these different shapes and then you've got these and then you've got the same for the lower. So it's the same thing at the bottom here. You've got these controls here. And you can just play around with that. But these side ones are cool. You see these side ones here. Let's see these. I think these make it go up. Yeah. So you can add the smile and you can play around with all these shapes. Let's see this top. What's this one? This. Okay, this does, so this does, okay, so you got these controls here, up and gum, all right, actually, let me see, what is this square on the side, what does this do, all right, it's the side mouth, in and out, so say if we wanted to open, move it up, okay, this just rotates and moves up, Okay. What are these? So if we put these on one and then rotate. Well, I'm not sure what these are, but there's some controls here. Lower gum. Okay, so if we open this and we go to lower gum. All right, it just moves it out a bit moves it in a bit okay that's fine so you've got that little facial rig there 
which is nice, sweet, keep it simple. You've got this here, controls here. You can do it individually or together. You've got a lot of control there. So nice facial setup there. Right? And then let's see now. So if we move down to say we've done the head, so the arms. So in the arms here, you have your standard IK switch. So let's switch this to FK. As you can see, the FK controls come up here. You know, you can move these, which is cool. Okay. And then if we go back to that arm, you can see the other controls. You've got auto stretch, so you can add that stretch. IK follow, inherent rotation and all that kind of stuff. Pole vectors is there. Arm follow. So we have all that. And on the other side, it's the same. So that's the same thing. We can put it to FK. So we've got that happening. And the shoulder control is still there too, which is cool. And then, uh, where's it gone? We can go, I think we can go follow. Say if we do FK, follow, arm follow. Let's see this. Arm follow, right? Arm follow. Check this out, results. Follow rotation, let's see, I think it's this one. Yeah, you see? It's kind of staying there, that there. But this one's moving with it, this one's kind of staying. So you've got that control there, right, you see? So that's cool. So it can be independent of the torso. It doesn't have to move with the torso, which is standard. It should be standard in most rigs, but you'd be surprised how they're not even professional. Either. All right, let's go to a torso. A torso, auto stretch. This has an auto stretch, which is... So you can just move it up and down to get that stretch. Well, that's cool. There's not many controls on the torso. So you can turn that on and off. Distribution, rotation. Don't know what this is. Not sure about that, but and then we've got the legs. Actually, we go out to the arms. Yeah, that's fine. Then we've got the legs. And of course, you've got the same. You can change that to FK, switch it. And then, of course, you've got your FK, which is cool. And the same, especially the same as the uh, IK follow and stuff. It's the same as the legs, the controls there. And then you've got this overall control right and then look at the controls on here you have so you got all of these so you can have your visibilities on here you see so you've got your main controls on so once you've animated your main character you might want to switch that off and then you go to secondary controls actually so if i turn the top one off okay so you need the top one on sorry so the secondary controls are the bend bows. So you have them here. Yeah? So you might want to add a bit more shape to your arms, forearms, and even the legs. So you have these three extra controls that come up. If they're in FK, right, they'll come up here. And then if you go back to the overall control here, uh, then you've got tweak controls. So you do that, and then this is where these tweak controls come up. So you can get rid of the other ones. And this is where you can add, when you're polishing, you're adding a bit more of that jiggle. So you've got it in the chest, the upper chest area, the thighs, you know, just adding that a bit more muscular believability, the abdomen. And in the back as well, you've got all these controls, the buttocks, that's pretty cool, triceps. So you can really polish. So what we'll do, we'll do a, like a run or a walk and we'll really go down, maybe a run or a jump. A jump might be good because there's more impact, even though I've already done a jump. Jumps are good exercises, you know, because it's kind of like the bouncing ball. That's why I did that previous jump in the video. But but yeah, overall, this is a, it's just a fun rig when you look at it. It just looks fun. You know, joints availability, you can turn that on and off. Subdivision, put that to zero. You can see the skin here. It's getting lower, right? Now, if I put it up, watch. See, it gets smoother. Number two is smooth. Number one is a little bit smoother. And then zero 
is proper, right? Uh, not smooth. Even zero is still good. But yeah, overall, nice rig that has a lot of features in it, but it doesn't look complicated. You know, it's one of those where you can get really, really good animation in it. And it's not overwhelming. There's not controls everywhere. Uh, you got your basic controls here, and then you can just then you just add. I mean, you, you probably won't use these, but unless you're doing cartoony stuff, and then it's just the tweaks really. Really, what you'll be using is the main controls and the tweaks. All right, so yeah, this uh, this looks like a good, very good rig, very fun. I think they're all the same. All of those. There's a lady one as well, Alpha, and there's a Gamma. I think the dog, and we'll go over those as well. And I'm looking forward to doing some animation in this and showing my workflows and what it works easier for me when I'm animating. So I look forward to that. I think we'll have a lot of fun with this rig. So all right, guys, in the meantime, uh, happy animating. If you haven't checked out my game dev fitness, if you're thinking about um, maybe doing a fat loss or you're concerned about your health and stuff and you want to just get into shape and feel better and look better and perform better, then check out the fitness journey I went on. I'm in conjunction with RT Fitness. So shout out to them as well for helping me out transform my body. Some of you are aware of my transformation and I'm I'm maintaining my weight at the moment because I, I had a wisdom tooth uh, removal three weeks ago. My coach just recommended just maintain my weight now. So the shoot's been pushed back to maybe next year, mid next year. But um, I'm just maintaining and just training and enjoying and animating and all that kind of stuff. So check that out. Obviously, if you found this video useful, please like, share, you know, thank you so much for your support. Channel is really starting to grow now and it's, and it's, and it's really thanks to you guys. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, get your steps in, look after your health and uh, all the best. And I'll see you in the next video.